So, I cut my hair recently, and honestly, I feel way more like myself than I have in a long time. It's it's really not about the hair or looks, but learning to enjoy my little weird quirks and tendencies that make me me. It's okay to do the exact opposite of what everyone expects you to do or wants you to do. Just make sure to ask yourself what you want, not what someone tells you to want. What does the life that you want for yourself look like? How can you create a world for yourself that's both contributing to your happiness and also challenging you and helping you grow? Create a life for yourself that keeps you inspired. Anyways, along with cutting my hair, I've also turned another year older. Which, yes, might be a little scary, but, um... The older I get, the more I realize how difficult it is to keep my sense of... Naiv... Naivety? Naivety? Is that the word? I don't know. Anyways, again. The older I get, the more I realize who I am and who I want to be. With this new change and this new year, I, I'm challenging myself to live a life that both maintains my responsibilities and leaves space for silliness, creativity, and just being my weird self. I have so many choices in this life, like we all do, especially the choice to be anything that I want, whenever I want. Okay, I know it's just my hair, but just be who you want to be without trying to impress anyone. That's it. That's all you gotta do, really. I don't know, maybe I'm reading way too deep into this, but all I'm saying is if you want to cut your hair, then go cut your hair. I mean that both literally and uh, symbolically, if, if that makes sense. Okay. My closing remark and main point is create the life that you want to live. That is, that's, that's the idea. Some, some thoughts of mine. Okay. Everyone have a great day. Goodbye.